wiring electrical insulation for a domestic single phase has to have the main supply from the meter box all the way to the consumer unit. A single phase domestic installation for this setup, I'm going to use these wires which are 6.0 millimeters square in diameter. The first important wire that I have here is the earth wire which is represented by yellow with green stripes or green with yellow stripes. This is the earthing connection at 6.0 millimeters square in diameter which guarantees protection against an electric shock in any house wiring or domestic installation. And then I have the face wire which is also 6.0 millimeters square and I have the neutral which is represented by black. In our country we use the red as the face and black as the neutral and the green with yellow stripes as the earth connection. If at all you are in a different region or country you have to adhere to what the color code in that region are. Now for this case these wires will come all the way from the meter box to my consumer unit here where I will have the connection. Wiring from the meter box to the consumer unit we will use what we refer as a draw wire. It is a draw wire or a steel tape or what my good Nigerians call a fishing wire. So if at all you want to pull the wires from the consumer unit, you insert this wire at the consumer unit and it will go all the way to the meter box like so. And so once you have it there, at the meter box you have someone now connecting these wires. So at the end of that steel tape, I have to firmly attach those wires so that when they will be pulled or fished or drawn, they will not disengage. And then finally tape it to ensure that it negotiates the corners properly. So assuming I'm at the meter box and I have to work with the person that is in the house whereby they are pulling this steel tape and on the other end at the meter box I am pushing to ensure that it goes in. So we push, we coordinate, we push until we ensure that uh, the wire is going all the way to the consumer unit like that. Once the mains wire are at the consumer unit, I have to give them an allowance and uh, first of all you just remove the tape from the wires like that. Again it is important to ensure that uh, the wires are safe, they are not punctured. You just look at the insulation. If the insulation is good it means uh, the pipework is good. There is no puncture on the insulation. So once at the consumer unit, it is important to ensure that you give an allowance for your wires. Just don't cut immediately where the cables are supposed to be connected. For instance, if it's an earth connection, don't connect it like that and then cut it at that point because that will be very short. Ensure that you give enough room for these cables in the consumer unit. Let them pass through the longest route possible. Again, the consumer unit has a lot of room to allow for that. And then once it goes through the longest route, you can connect it. And even for this one, the face and the neutral, you can have it go all the way to the end and then come back to connect to your main switch. Why am I saying so? Because in future, there could be an issue at the consumer unit where you have to replace a gadget or two. So at that particular point you find that this wire is cut or is reduced. So it is advisable to give an allowance at the consumer for future repair work. For these wires that are coming from the meter box to the consumer unit, I am using for this case 6.0 millimeter square because the load is not that big and it will be able to handle comfortably. I only have lights. I have an instant shower head, 
and several sockets. Now, if you are learning something, ensure to hit the like button so that I can know that this video is coming along very well for you. Now, in the next one, I'm doing the wiring for all of these circuits, the lights and the sockets, all the way to the consumer unit. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an episode.